That's right. You know. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the Cure. Um, today we got two very special guests, and it is uh, Justin and Van. Um, so these guys, uh, today's episode is all about travel crews. And here at the ministry, we have the opportunity to go out and serve, and we do a lot of that. And it's a, it's a huge blessing. These guys are going to tell you more about it, um, but they get to go out and take guys every week and go off and serve and show what Jesus is doing here at John 316. So they're, you know, in a sense, um, a lot of what people know about John 316 as they go out and serve. But anyways, um, Van, if you will, introduce yourself and let us know how long you've been here. All right. Do I have to say my full name or just Van? <laughs> I'm Van. No, uh, yeah, I'm Van, and I've been here for since 2018. Um two and a half, August would be three years, and um, I, I always like to call it uh, Jesus' road crew, and um, I love it because it gives us an opportunity to go out and talk about what God has, has done in our life and what he can do in other men's life and opportunities to run into that guy that was in a pit like I was and yeah. give him hope and then give families hope. Um you know, just like um, I love going out and serving for the, the supporters of the ministry because, it, you know, it wasn't uh, for them, you know, uh, supporting the ministry and everything like that. Uh, I wouldn't be this godly uh, man that I am today and thinking more of others rather than myself. Um, you know, uh, it's like when I, when I pull up and, and I see a fence line, and it's all overgrown up and everything like that, and and we get at it, and we we're just serving, serving, serving. Well, one thing you realize is we all have a good work ethic. We right. do. So our reasoning why we're doing it has to change, and then it gives me a good opportunity because mine had to change. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when we pull up and we see this fence and everything like that, and um, and by Friday you can turn around and look down and see what has been done, and you know everything that has gotten done was was Christ working through you because you know you wouldn't have put that much care into it. Mm-hmm. Your reasoning would have just been hurry up, get done with it, get paid to go, and your reasoning changed. Um, and um, what do you got, Justin? Yeah. Well, so you, sorry to cut okay. you off. You can see Van's passionate about the road crew, yeah. so he 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 gets right into it, and I love that. Um, Justin, if you will, if you'll introduce yourself, tell us how long you've been here, and and kind of how you got put on the road crews, how you got assigned to that. We know that it was Jesus, but um, what your experience is with that? Uh, well, my name is Justin Hilliard. I've been with the ministry for eleven months now. Been instructor for seven. Um, it's just amazing, amazing thing to be a part of, uh, something so big and so broad, uh, for the kingdom of God. Uh, I like to think that, you know, even though we, we are the hands and feet of Jesus here on camp, uh, we're the hands and feet of Jesus off camp, uh, serving different individuals and, and, uh, and, being that light, being walking in that truth daily, uh, just to serve, uh, and and to let people know what this camp stands for, mm-hmm. uh, let this let people know of of who we are, and what we do for Jesus, and how we can be transformed by mm-hmm. the renewing of our mind, uh, and it's it's not a disease. Uh, it's it's our own decisions that we make in life. To where we get to where we fall in that pit and uh and like you said it, it is the cure jesus is the cure for everything and uh and i just love going out because you can spend time with the guys that are, you're with uh right. and sow into them and motivate them and, and yep. encourage them and 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 let them know that you know they can live a healthy life with christ if if we obey and be obedient to what God wants us to do. And it's all about what he wants us to do. It's not about us anymore. So. Right, right. 
Yeah, it's it's so cool. I, I got the opportunity to go out on a few work crews. Um, these guys are more at it every week. You know, yeah. they, they kind of get in on Friday evening usually. Um, they'll get up, serve on Saturday. We got service on Sunday, and then Sunday evening they're heading back out. Mm-hmm. And that's that's week after week. And, and, you know, they stay positive about it every week. And, and that's so encouraging for us to see here at the camp, you know, the, the leadership in that. And, and uh, I think it's so cool that you guys get to take the men that have been here a while. Usually they've graduated class. Yeah. Um, and it's almost like y'all are getting to it introduce them into what daily life is like after they move on you know because they're functioning out there going to the store whatever the the little stuff that we we think of as as little stuff um that they're learning how to do as christian men um and and that's so good to see that and y'all go everywhere and serve all over the place but um i guess i would say this man how do you um keep the morale up on you know on your work crews throughout the week when y'all go out and you're getting tired how do you keep the morale up well <clears throat> that's a that's a learning process over time um and uh one thing uh i do keep the morale up is definitely you gotta put more jesus in it and yeah. everything and so you know we'd come home in the afternoons and uh and i, I I'm talking about me, you know, I'm guilty of this, and uh, first thing I do, we, we take a shower, pop a movie in, Yeah. you know, and uh, so, you know, did that for a little while, and uh, well, the Holy Spirit was talking to me one day, you need to change things up, well, they're not going to change nothing unless you do, well, there's an opportunity right there to to show them that, you know, when they leave, when they go home, you know, the fathers and, and, and the brothers and all that you you know you can apply this to your life you know mm-hmm. even if it ain't happening then well you can start it you know yeah. like how we did the game mm-hmm. you know cool. so the spirit was was talking to me and me and todd we got on the internet and we bought a bunch of uh, trivia games yeah and so we do trivia um uh, and then we'll watch uh like a, a christian movie at night and then uh and, and now what it's turned into, uh, we don't play no more spades. You know, I, I can't stand spades. Yeah. So we don't play spades. None of the guys play spades. We we uh, always, always in our Bibles where, you know, you got this group over here doing a Bible study. So, it, you know, keeping the morale up. And then <clears throat> I'll give you an example. We was at Homer Scout and Ford last week, and uh, we were detailing uh, vehicles. And so, you know, I – Detailing vehicles, you're going to get in your head. I know that. So what, what I try to do is is get them thinking about positive things in their head. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll go to all the guys or one by one, and, and I would just, well, if they're doing this right here, I'll put my hand on theirs and, and do it with them. Yeah. You know, just let them know I'm, I'm there <laughs> with them. And, uh, you know, just, just make it fun because you can have fun in Christ, Absolutely. in serving, yeah. you know, be thankful that you're, a, you get to do this, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> I laugh, and you guys can't <laughs> see that. I'm not laughing at what he's saying. These two right here before the show are just, they're funny. We're buddies. You yeah. know, and it, it's a good example <laughs> that you can have fun right. in, yeah. in Christ, you know, and that's what I think you're telling me right now is. Absolutely. You can. That's how you keep the morale up mm-hmm. is, is let them know it's okay to have good, wholesome fun. And, man, I'll tell you, I think we can all testify (laughs) to the fact that we have more fun now than we ever did doing that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and it's so good getting to show the guys that. Um, And we always, we're we're always doing different things. I keep saying that over and over. Um, But, Justin, what is one of the more interesting uh, work crews that you've went on here recently or, or led? Um, you know, took the guys out on during the week. Oh man, uh, man, I've I've had a lot of opportunities. Brian's put me on some a lot of gods, uh, a, a lot of places where he's put me. Uh, uh, Miss, Mississippi was one of them where I was able to help uh, uh, Phil Barker uh, go down there and serve. Uh, that was the first time John Three's ever been down there, mm-hmm. uh, and we were at a 
share the light down there and uh, be a part of something that we we John three hasn't been to yet. Right. Uh, but just to get the word out and to serve at the same time, you know. Uh, and I mean, uh, Bryce Minner, he's another he's another good guy that that we serve for. Uh, just the morale all around is mm-hmm. uh, is awesome with him. Then you got Popular uh, Bluff, uh, Jack Duckett. Uh, just just the sponsors and and all the guys that we work for serving. Uh, they they're ready they're ready for us to come. Right. I mean, it's not like they're they're just like oh man John three's coming again. It's it's the opposite, you know. Mm-hmm. And right. And that's the way it should be when you're walking in Christ and you're following what God wants you to do. Well, yeah, you you're gonna want that. You're gonna want you know somebody that's that's uh that's on fire for God and and uh and that's what they that's what they want. And that's what uh sometimes they need. You know, just the the morale when we come and and, and serve and. And it doesn't matter what it is, uh, they're just so happy to see us, you know. And uh, it and it's a great it's a great opportunity to, to be a part of that. You yeah. know, it's an awesome feeling to be a part, knowing that as instructors, both us are able to to to, to be the leaders, mm-hmm. be the hands and feet. But at the same time, we all get together and we all get the job done. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, and there's no there's no regret or worries when we leave. Right. You know, uh, there's no, you know, there's there's not them wanting us to leave. There's them wanting us to stay. Yeah. yeah. You know, or wanting us to come back. Right. You know, and uh, and it's an awesome feeling. And the guys that, that I have that go with me, they, they need something like that. Because most of them, they don't have, uh, you know, they didn't raise up in that family or, or anything. And they, they weren't wanted. Uh, mm-hmm. Or uh, they're just in a spot to where they just need it. Somebody that that wanted them to to help out, and that's that's what that's what our purpose is, you right. know, is is uh, to let the guys go out and feel the love and compassion that that uh, these these sponsors and these these uh, these people that we work for they they want us, mm-hmm. you know, and and you see it every day that and it it brings them more confidence, you know, it brings them more uh, peace of mind on on that uh so i mean i think every trip that i've been on has been has been a blessing you know yeah. it's been uh it's been a moment by moment uh situation each time yeah you know because we we have to be still and wait on the lord and and uh if we don't then we're going to miss out on on what god has for us and and sometimes it's it's not easy going going to you know like detailing cars and and all that, but we have to put Jesus into everything that we do. Yeah, yeah. And and when we do that, then that's when uh, that's when it all comes together, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, it's just awesome, amazing feel, feeling to be on the road crew and and be able to to serve. Uh, Van and I we're not together a lot, but when we do, we uh, we try to make it as special as we can for the yeah. guys. Yeah, that's. Know? That's what's so important, you know. You were saying that, like, um, I mean, Brian tells us once a week at least, usually more than that, and and I, I started understanding what he was talking about as I saw the work crews, um, really as a resident, you know, as I was going off on the work crews with guys, um, we're not a burden anymore. Right. You know, we just like you're just talking about with these guys feeling um, – they're feeling worthy, yeah. and they're feeling like blessings, and it's because these these people they, it's because that's what we are now. Yeah. That's what we are. You know, and and God gives us that strength to to be a blessing, and we go out and serve. And you're absolutely right, people. When you get done at the end of the week, people are like, "Man, I didn't think we'd get all that done." And it's because everybody goes out there with the mentality of, "I'm gonna be a blessing this week." And yeah, yeah. That's that's what we're taught here. That's what's so good. Yeah. So, um, all right, Van. I got one more question for you. Yeah. And uh, this is this is a question that we always have um, for the guys. Um, so imagine this: somebody is watching this podcast right now, mm-hmm. 
you're watching this podcast before you came to the ministry, and uh, you're sitting there, you're on your your phone, it's late at night, probably hadn't slept in a few days, um, and you're feeling hopeless. Everybody around you is is being torn down, torn apart by the addiction that you have going on, your family, all that, and uh, you feel hopeless. If you will, if you'll look into that camera right there and speak to that man, uh, what kind of hope can you give him? Here's, here, here, here's what I can give you. God wants you. He does. You, you might not, you, the world's done turned against you. Nobody wants you around. I've been there. I felt what you're feeling. But I'm sitting here today, and you could be here too. My 15-year-old son got saved last week. Mm. All because I was right there where you was at, a broken man. No, no one to turn to but Jesus. And if I wasn't willing to come about change and come to John 3.16 and, and change the way that I was running my life because it showed me real quick I can't run anything. Wednesday, February the 24th, my son got saved at Homer's Bell and Ford out in the parking lot. All because of one decision. And you can make that same decision. And then here, I'll go a little further. And if you need to talk to me, any questions or anything, I'm not going to push anything on you or anything. But you can call up here to the ministry and ask for me. Mm -hmm. And they'll make sure they get a hold of me. My name's Van. This is Justin. We're here for God's glory like you. I go on the road hoping for the opportunity to run into guys like you because I have a pamphlet for you. We do love you. Might be a little weird at first because I thought so too. But if you stay in, in, in just continue bringing up nuggets, keeping you and keeping you, and over time, You'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say I love you because I'm willing to jump in that pit with you and lead you out. That's right. Amen. That's, that's it right there. And, um, and guys, you know, I realize that this might be a, a loved one. It might be somebody else watching, and, and this is what these are about. We want you all to know what's going on with the travel crews because um, they do a, a big part. We all do a big part here at John 316. But they do something that, that we think is very worthy of being seen by, yeah. by the families out there. Because um, y'all don't always get to see what, what they do. Um, but make sure you all like this video. Share it. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Check out the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. These podcasts, the voices and the audio will be going on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So you can check us out there as well. Um, if you have any trouble finding... Um, help for somebody our phone number and our email is going to be right up top right there and um, we we look forward to getting in touch with you if you have more questions about getting in touch with us and what it requires refer to episode one and um, we love you we all do yeah That's we right. do, we do yeah. love you all. and um, we want to thank you thank and you. Uh, for, for tuning in to the cure and uh, just remember this we don't offer treatment. We offer the cure. That's right. That's right.